What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Miles. So I've been getting this question a lot lately. Miles, how do you get sponsors when you're fighting? Miles, how much do sponsors pay? So that's what we're going to talk about today. Sponsors and mixed martial arts and fighting. How much do they pay? How do you get them? What are they? Are they important? How much, how much money do they equal out for the fighter at the end of the day? Now you might see sponsors like the Monster Energy logo inside the cage or Daniel Cormier wearing a Monster Energy logo. You also might see other sponsors like Modelo commercials, Amanda Nunez in there doing a commercial for Modelo and you know she's getting paid for it. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to go over how do you get sponsors, how much do sponsors actually pay? I'm going to give you guys some real life experience from my take on it. Um, I've had 14 plus fights in the UFC. I have two seasons of The Ultimate Fighter. I'm currently signed right now with Bellator and I've had three plus fights with them. So I've dealt with sponsors a lot. In this video, we're going to talk a lot about as well, how do you find sponsors? So that's a big part of it. For a majority of fighters on the come up, there's certain things you have to do in order to find sponsors, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So let's get to it. Now, first things first, what is a sponsor? Basically, uh, a sponsor is somebody, a company, a brand, or a person that will find a fighter and they will endorse them with either money or product. So, for example, Product. This, this could be anywhere from uh, Hayabusa sponsoring a fighter and sending them out shin guards, gloves, mouthpiece, um, and any other training product that they need, which is super, super important because on the come up, you know, being an MMA fighter, you don't have a lot of money. And your first couple of fights on the smaller organizations, what, maybe you're making a couple hundred bucks, maybe a thousand bucks. So when you have a sponsor that's giving you product, man, does that help out a lot, especially when you don't have much money. Now, sponsors will also give you money. Sometimes it's based per fight. So, for example, a, spo a sponsor might give you $1,000 for your fight. Or I've seen other times that they'll actually give you monthly sponsors. I know uh, some fighters that actually get, you know, two, three grand a month, up to all the way up to 10 grand a month for certain sponsors. And let's face it, who wouldn't want a check coming in every month for 500, 1,000, 10 grand? Uh, just to basically wear and s support a certain clothing or a certain brand. I mean, that's that's the holy grail of sponsors, getting that monthly reoccurring money coming in every every month. Now, UFC does a great job in sponsors as well. If you ever watch their fights, look at the canvas. You're going to see all kinds of different logos from companies, uh, beer brands. You're going to see uh, clothing companies, all that with sponsors in their organization. Also in between the broadcasting, you're gonna hear some broadcasters like John Anik throw out, uh, hey, this fight is brought to you by this sponsor. So keep an eye on it. UFC also has a bunch of sponsors and makes good money off that as well. Now, let's talk a little bit about how much they pay. Now, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a view of the UFC books or what other fighters make, but from my experience, sponsorships can range anywhere from a couple hundred dollars a fight up to tens of hundreds of thousands of dollars per fight. And when it comes down to monthly, they can range anywhere from a couple hundred bucks all the way up to tens of thousands of dollars. So at the end of the day, it can add a lot of money to the bottom line of a mixed martial arts fighter. Heck, from my experience, when I was fighting on main card pay-per-views and when I was on a good run with the UFC, I've had sponsors pay me anywhere from five to ten plus thousand dollars at one time. And when you're on the come up, Man, 10 grand, that's that's really, really good. And if you look at other fighters, people like Ronda Rousey, Conor McGregor, yes, they are at the top of the, the pinnacle of the sport, but I'm, I'd imagine that they are making great, great money off of their sponsors. Hundreds of thousands of dollars per year. Again, I don't know for sure. I'm just some guy talking to a camera right now, uh, but I'm just giving you my real experience on the sponsorship game. There's a lot of money to be made when it comes down to networking with other clothing companies, brands, products, CBDs, uh, anything. I've had great sponsors all the way from American Ethanol to DZ. Uh, There's two beautiful, beautiful branded companies that help support me in my training for my fight. And then in return, I promote their, their product, their brand, and uh, give them some form of marketing, representing them in a great way. 
Now, how do you find sponsors? That's a question I get all the time on this channel. Miles, how do I get sponsors? So let's talk a little bit about that right now. First things first, I would say the best way to find sponsors is to win fights, win big fights and win them impressively. From my experience, I've seen a lot of sponsors go after fighters that are making waves, winning fights, getting a lot of buzz around them, and finishing people in great fashion. What's that old saying? You know, people are going to flock towards the winners. And that's really true when it comes to sponsors. If you're winning more, chances are companies, brands, they're going to want to endorse you a lot, lot more. So get those W's. As always, don't forget to just drop an elbow on that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't as well. And make sure guys to turn on your notifications so that way when we post a video here, we can be alerted for it and you can check it out. Another way to get sponsors is to be a character. Again, this is people talking about you, people wanna tune in to watch you fight. You know, a character that comes off the top of my head uh, right now is like a Sean O'Malley. Granted, Sean O'Malley has a bunch of skills, he's winning some fights. Uh, granted, he didn't win his past fight, but he's still a great martial artist. On top of that though, Sean O'Malley is very marketable. He really, really is. So chances are people are gonna wanna put money behind him, companies are gonna wanna get behind him because they get something out of it. Everybody wants to tune in when Sean O'Malley fights. So if you can be a character, that really, really helps. Another person that comes to mind is Donald Cerrone. Donald's had a, a great history in the UFC. He's done a lot of great things. But right now, I feel like his character is cowboy. A lot of people wanna tune in and watch him fight. So when you have companies that want to get behind somebody, Donald Cerrone is another great person because he's got a great character. That P3 protein, man, I see commercials for that all the time. And that's just a great example of a sponsor getting behind a, a fighter that has a great character. Another way you can get sponsors is to basically go to your hometown. You know, a lot of times when you're coming up and you're a fighter, if you're not at the top of the level or you're not making big waves, winning, winning decisively, a lot of times what you can do is go to your hometown and talk to businesses. Maybe it's a mechanic shop. Maybe it's a restaurant. Maybe it's a, a clothing company. Whatever it is, maybe they would want to sponsor you because you're from the hometown. People know you. People know the company. And it's a good fit. You guys can represent each other very well. And you can work out some type of agreement. Maybe it's product. Maybe it's some money. But you can represent them when you fight in the cage. You can represent them by being on social media, plugging their businesses, and giving them an ultimate form of marketing. Now, finding sponsors is a manager's job. I'll do a whole other video on management if you need it. What are the pros? What are the cons with them? But for now, let's just say you have a manager and it's his job primarily to find you sponsors. Your job should be in the gym, working out, training, fighting, winning fights, and be focused on that. Your manager, though, on the other hand, he should be calling companies, he should be emailing, he should be having meetings with companies to try and get you endorsements, to try and make you money, to try and get you product. And in return, from my experience, a manager gets 20% of whatever sponsors he finds you. So let's say, for example, your manager finds you and a sponsor that's going to give you $10,000 for your next fight. Your manager would keep $2,000 for finding it, and then you would get the other $8,000. It's a win-win for both. Now, it's very important when you get a sponsor to figure out exactly what a sponsor wants from you, the fighter. Maybe it's just social media plugs. Maybe it's they, they want you to be wearing their clothing in the cage when you fight. Like, for example, my last fight, I had American Ethanol as a sponsor. I had Kayak Bass Fishing as a sponsor. And those are just some of them. That was part of the deal is that I wear and I represent their company. And in return, they would pay me fees. And on top of that, it goes outside of just the fight with these companies as well. I've been into American Ethanol and I've seen their plants. I've seen their businesses and met their, uh, their employee base. I've met the owners. Same thing with kayak bass fishing. Me and Chad, we talk regular. So everybody go check out his channel as well, Kayak Bass Fishing, because he's another great person that helps support my career. And in return, I do the best that I can to support him as well. That's what a sponsorship is all about. It's teamwork, it's working together with a team, and it's a win-win you're trying to create. And at the end of the day, guys, sponsorships can add a bunch of money to a fighter's career, fighter's earnings over the year. Sometimes up to 50% of what a fighter will make for the year can be just attributed to sponsors. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you for sticking around and checking out this video. If you've stuck around this long, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And until next time.